All right, Coach, from one of the loudest venues in the NFL, there's a look at Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Minnesota Vikings and the Kansas City Chiefs. That'll be taken in the end zone. And look at this, right away a loose football, and it's picked up by the Chiefs. And his guys are going to take over at the 21-yard line. And careless with a football there on the kick return. And one thing I love about going to practices is trying to get around coaches and hear their catchphrases and what they really emphasize. We haven't been to a single one yet this year where a guy fielding a kick, you don't hear, tuck it away, yeah. tuck it away, tuck it away. And this time, they turned it over. Ball security eluded him. Now Trubisky on first down. Throwing the slant pattern here complete. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Tyreek Hill from 21 yards away. And the Chiefs are going to take a first quarter lead. Oh, this is blocked. <laughs> Butker now to kick this one away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. Cousins and the Vikings with a first and ten. On first and ten, Cousins. And they didn't wait long to take a shot there, that's for sure. But it falls incomplete, and it's second down. Stephon Diggs, his intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. Line of scrimmage again the 25, second and 10. A second down throw for Cousins. Throw left side complete. It's right. And they're able to get this one across the 35. They give them 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. Now, Charles, what's the mindset here offensively? You gave up the touchdown pretty quickly. Would it have changed if you had gotten a stop and it would be 0-0 right now or no? I wouldn't think so. I think in most cases, just down a touchdown, you know, I mean, we're just getting started here. It should be a long way to go. You think to yourself, stick with the game plan, all the things you worked on in practice. But you have some teams that when they get down, their natural tendency is to aggressively strike back. And let's see if they want to get outside of the game plan we expect and try and be aggressive on their first series. I know when I was a kid, I always got real excited when I saw those lateral-type runs. But the best backs that made it happen, they put a foot in the ground and just go. That didn't happen there. That play got swallowed up. Now Cousins here on the bootleg. And Cook has it, left side. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. Just the first quarter, but tackling going to be so important going forward. They've got to limit plays like that. And that's something when you see it happen early in the game and they don't get him on the ground, you can always tell that they were concerned about it going in. Because I can just tell you from my days, I remember being in college and wearing all offseason about our season open opponent. And they had a receiver that could shake and bake with the best of them. I tackled him on the first pass of the game, and the relief was incredible. Ended up having a pretty decent ball game. But if I had missed him, it, <laughs> it would have been, been a, been a story. long night.
And how about this one now? In their own territory, a gutsy call. They're going to go for this on fourth and a yard. Oh, and now movement and a whistle, and they may have to rethink their plans on fourth down. On fourth down, here's Justin Vogel on to punt it away. Tyreek Hill back deep for Kansas City. Now the Chiefs offense, they get ready to head on the field. able to intercept it. That's one he would have liked to have held on to on his first drive. Instead, second down. the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Now they'll run it on the toss. And he will forge his way forward only up to the two-yard line. Just a gain of a yard there, and now it'll be third down. All right, let's go ahead and detail this situation here. Third and long coming up, back near your own goal line. I would be very hesitant about throwing the football in this situation. Maybe just run, run up the middle? Yeah, I think that that might be the spot for them. you got to try and find some space for your punter because you don't want him backed up where he has to alter what he does. Back to throw now in his own end zone. He is going to find Hill here. And he's able to get this up just shy of the 15. Trying to find some space to operate, and now they'll have it. A gain of 12, a big first down to get away from the end zone. So still backed up, but the situation not as dire now. First and 10 at the 14. They'll throw on first down with Trubisky. And they're going deep for Hill. Oh, the ball batted in the air, and now it's intercepted. Picked off by Harrison Smith. And a huge return as he'll take this one all the way down inside the 30-yard line. Oh, and that's a nice job defensively to get a piece of the football. He's going to pop it into the air, and then it's the tip drill. And good concentration by him to react to it and pull in the interception. Down to the 25. It was Reggie Ragland who got him down. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. They'll run it now out of the gun. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. They'll wind up losing three, and now it's third down. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. On third down, Cousins. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. But that was certainly an aggressive call and an aggressive play. Instead of just going for the first down, took the shot in the end zone, went for the touchdown. And on third down, they said, forget about the sticks. We want six. The kick by Carlson is good. 
And they are on the board, trailing now at 6-3. to three. The bottom line, tremendous starting field position really squandered there as they wind up going backwards and then come up with just three. Well, getting the three turned out to be important. I can imagine the head coach when he ordered the field goal, please salvage something out of this drive. That was not fun to watch. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll get to the 30-yard line before going out of bounds. And now here comes Kansas City. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense mm -hmm. at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. So first and 10 now from the 30. They'll run with a backup. This is Williams. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play there. Second down. He had a great read there from his free safety position. And, Charles, you know with those guys, it's all about their eyes. They have to be laser-focused. Yeah, I had to fake my way through it when I was playing, but now I can see exactly what they're doing. And on that play, he obviously had no presence to feel like he's being pushed for a pass. And without that, that allowed him to get up to the line of scrimmage and hold him to no gain. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. The beauty of being able to play a zone defense, when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands, guess what? Creates a lot of confusion, kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you go make a play on the football. On third down, Trubisky. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It'll go as a gain of 10 and a Kansas City first down. the scramble there gets him six and it'll be second down and that was not a bad scramble there on first down he didn't force it nor did he throw it away he was able to take off and now he made it a very manageable second and short midfield and inside the 45. That one good for 12 yards in a Kansas City first. Something to watch here in week one of the season, tackling. Because you and I both know that in the preseason, a lot of these guys don't play a whole lot. Plus the intensity and the speed really ratchets up on opening week. Viking territory now. They'll come up first and 10 at the 42-yard line. From the shotgun is Trubisky. And he'll win it over the middle. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. And they'll try the ground game here with the running back. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. One thing rookies need to learn at this level and quick, make a cut, be decisive, and go. Because in college, you could dance around and wait for a hole to open because you're probably a better athlete than most of the guys on the field, but not on the NFL level. Lock in, lock in. Check, check, check. 
They'll run it now. Out of the gun. And he'll take this inside the 30 to about the 29, maybe the 28-yard line. Tackle made by Demarius Randall. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blow. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. Throwing here, Trubisky. And this one is incomplete. And based on my math, they've only converted one time thus far in this game. So you can see the frustration starting to come out a little bit. Third downs, they've been a problem for them all game. They've got to start becoming solutions. And Butker able to put this one through. And the lead will increase to six now. It's nine to three. So in the end, they had the ball for ten plays, but the drive gets them three, not six. Is it okay if I give credit to both sides on this one? Absolutely. All right, let's start defensively. They hung in there. Ten play drive. But they stiffened when they got close to the goal line, made them kick a field goal. And for the offense, 10-play drive. They might be a little disappointed they got a field goal, but they moved the ball down the field with dispatch and came away with points. Cousins and the Vikings with a first and 10. Cousins now to throw on first down. Forced out to his left. And he fires one incomplete. Well, not to get too overcritical there because he knows what he's doing, but his shoulders looked a little off kilter there when he threw that. I don't think you're being overly critical there. You're just analyzing it. And he gets those shoulders right. That pass will go from incomplete to complete. Throwing again, Cousins on second and ten. Throwing for his running back, and he's got it. Complete. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. They call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. A first down throw for Cousins. The left side caught by Diggs. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Didn't they tell us in our meetings that they needed to account for him on each and every play? You think? A guy of his caliber? So how does a guy like him get that wide open? That usually means there's a tire breakdown on what the coverage was. That everyone thought they were doing something and they were supposed to be doing something else. But bottom line is, no matter what, you have to know where he is and cover him on every play. A really nice gain of 25 yards. And when you have a guy in the backfield who can catch the football, you don't just use him strictly for check downs or dump offs. You make him part of the primary passing attack because what you're trying to do is get him into open field and then let him make people miss and advance the football. First red zone chance let now for the Vikings. They've got a first and 10 at the 17. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. It's a big place in the passing game on this drive, and here's one out of the running game. So the passing game, loosening things up. Now there's room to roam. They'll run for it with Cook. And he will take this one into the end zone for a Viking touchdown. A great play there. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Vikings have tied it. They can grab the lead with a PAT. Extra point by Carlson. Up and good. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Carlson now to kick this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And the decision to come out is going to cost him five as he's taken down right at the 20. And now here comes Kansas City. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> 
Most of them want it end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, that weren't happy with that field goal. I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive in with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. And he's going to lose yardage here. Back to his own 18. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Moving backwards on first down, never a good thing. What does that do for the mindset on second down? Well, it changes your play call, definitely, because as a play call, you're advancing yourself, thinking, okay, we're going to get a gain here. Now you've got to go back in reverse, come up with something to pick up, not just the yardage lost, but gain a few extra. He'll hit Watkins on the crossing route. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. Huh, hate to see this. Week one of the season. We'll be back. Let's go, let's break. On first and ten, it's Trubisky. Middle of the field, it's Robinson. Now Robinson coughs up the football. It's loose. And they get the football. They'll set up shop at their own 49-yard line. We have seen this before, and we know coaches preach about this and work on it all the time. Catch the ball. You know there's going to be some traffic somewhere. They've got to put it away and secure it as they try and get downfield. Cousins and the Vikings with a first and ten. Cousins now after the fumble recovery. Open here, Adam Thielen. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Nice way to start the drive. A gain of 12 and a first down. I think it all came together there. In breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Cousins on first down. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Jonathan Allen getting in there from his defensive tackle spot to snow him under for a loss of four. Second and 14 as they've got work to do here after the sack. Two minutes to go here in the first half. We're back to Arrowhead after this. So after the sack here, second and 14. To throw is Cousins. Now the hit comes, and Cousins lost the football. But a Viking was able to corral this one, and Minnesota will keep possession. On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back. Because this is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. the play thing. Cousins. Now he's going to throw it back deep over the middle. Into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Then it's ha-ha Clinton Dix with a pick. And it's a good return here as he'll get all the way up close to the 35. Okay, it's real simple to say from here, but we know that sometimes as a quarterback, you've got to know when to say when and just throw it away. Flushed out to the right, tries to make something out of nothing here, and he winds up floating one downfield. I think it's intercepted. After the interception, here's Trubisky. Robinson's got it. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. A gain of six there on first. Yeah. 
Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so red, here's red, second and four. Red, red, up. From the gun, it's Trubisky. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Robinson. And he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. It'll go as a gain of 10 and a Kansas City first down. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. And his throw is going to be incomplete. He was looking for Watkins that time, and it's second down. The positioning here is key. As a defensive back, you're taught 99% of the time make a play on the football. But in this case, making a play on the man was all the difference. That's what forced the incompletion. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. From midfield now, here's Trubisky. And that is incomplete. It's been my observation. There's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. I think the converse has been true in this game. Yeah, I think you're right. They seem to have gone off tendency quite a bit, but only the second quarter, a lot of time to change things. Trubisky to throw again. Looking right side, and that's complete to Watkins. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. As they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. Trubisky now 9 of 15 throwing the ball. 60% at its first and 10. Throwing once more. It's Trubisky. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead. As the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. A first trip to the red zone for KC. They have a first and 10 at the 18. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Now he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. As his guys are in for six, and the Chiefs are in for six. So they're able to capture the lead here just before halftime. And not only that, they get the ball to start the second yeah, half. That's right. This is almost like basketball down the stretch, right, where you get the two-for-one situation. You try and get two shots to your opponent's one. In this situation, they got the touchdown. They get another shot at to start the second half. Could be a big turnaround. Here's Trubisky to throw. In trouble, and he'll go down back at the 12. So tried to throw it in for two points, but the D got home, brought him down. Yeah, got home, which means there had to be good coverage. Just had nowhere to go with the ball. Typically, you're trying to throw quick hitters, quick slants, you know, maybe even a quick fade. Nothing was open. He ends up getting sacked. And now out comes Minnesota. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. 14 seconds, all that's left of this first half as they come up on first down. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. He's got it complete to Diggs right side. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Here we go. So from the 36 now, first and 10. On first and 10, Cousins. And Diggs has it. Oh, he breaks a tackle, and he's got an alley. So we've reached halftime here in our initial Sunday night telecast of the new season. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, we'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. 
This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Here comes the Chiefs offensive unit as they'll have it to begin quarter number three. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you term that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies, try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. Let's see if they do just that. Call it a loss of two on the play. And that'll make it second and 12. The opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Come on, come on. On second down, Trubisky. Being chased out left. And avoids the contact by sliding. A nice job of eluding the pressure there, scrambling for 11. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. The Chiefs on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. Out of the gun, Trubisky throwing the out route incomplete. It's Tucker, and he will have a first down here at about the 40. First catch of the new season for him, and he picks up the first. First down, Trubisky. They'll set up the screen. This is Williams. And that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. That'll go as a loss of five. And it'll make this a second and long. to the 34-yard line. He lost two there, and it's third down. So statistically, both of these offenses have a rough time getting a running game going. But boy, what a nice play there defensively. Tackling him behind the line, but you're right. You look at the numbers. Neither side looks on track in the ground game. Now Trubisky on third and long. The tight end, Kelsey, has it over the middle. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. A big 30-yard play on third. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. And on the ground they go with a running back. And he won't get much. Maybe a couple. Down inside the 35 to the 34. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. There you go. You see it? You see it? Blue, blue, blue. On second down, here's Trubisky. It's complete on the bubble screen. That's Robinson. And he gets it down to the 32. Now it appears we've got a Chief moving pretty gingerly down there. Huh, hate to see this. Week one of the season. We'll be back. The Chiefs on third down. They have been superb. Five for six to this point. This will be third and six. Mike, 
back in. 18, 18. Right. Now it's Trubisky. He is going to find Hill here. Touchdown! Tyreek Hill, already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Chiefs are able to grow their lead. This time, the extra point up and good, and it gives his guys a 12-point advantage. now to kick this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. A nice little juke. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. It's the Vikings' turn on offense. We get ready for their first possession of the second half. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things work well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. <laughs> Shocker. <laughs> try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. We'll see what they have up their sleeves. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. Hey, hey, hey. Got three. Got a first down throw for Cousins. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 17 yards is the pickup there for number 17. Now they, they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely. Great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? To throw. Cousins. He gets this one to Michael Crabtree. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. And a nice gain of 21 yards. One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you're going to lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong-armed guy who can right foot in there, and they were able to successfully complete that one. Providing a safety valve here. That's complete. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Minnesota. Kendall Wright taking it in from two yards out. And the Vikings have made this now a one-score game. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And that will shave one more off this lead. Carlson now to kick this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. And now here comes Kansas City. They were able to extend their lead with an opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter, but that just got matched a moment ago. So we know that what they discussed at the half worked. Now, what are the counters to that, right? You don't just run the same things over and over. Some do, but many will also show something and then come back with something else to keep the defense off balance. And they'll go on the ground. And he finds some space past the 25 to the 27. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. Now Trubisky to throw on second. Looking left side and completing it to Thomas. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. That catch good for five. It's third down. And, partner, I think that's a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. 
So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. The offense on third down tonight, they've been excellent. Six for seven. They're looking at third and a few inches. Now Trubisky to throw. Thomas has got it. Complete. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive going. Trubisky now perfect since the second half started. Seven of seven. It's first and ten. now in KC. It's the Chiefs with the lead and the football here as we get set for quarter number four. What an opening weekend it's been already. Could the best finish be coming here on Sunday night? We'll find out as we come up on a first and ten. From the shotgun is Trubisky. It's Kelsey on the ground. A gain of six there on first. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. On second down, Williams. And he'll push this forward only to about the 42-yard line. Give him a yard on the run there, and that's going to set up a third down and two. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up in the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. Third and two. Now Trubisky. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Tucker. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. Give him 15 yards on that one. Kansas City has a first down. Trubisky will come up here first and 10. And he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll bring this one inside the 35. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards. And it's second and two. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely. You want to bleed things go, out go. at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. And a short gain down to about the 33. Only a yard on the pickup, so from a good situation on second and two, it's now third and one. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it, and, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. And there's a run game here with a tailback. And he's not even going to get back to the line of scrimmage. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position, because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he's able to get it across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down at the 21-yard line. 
And now out comes Minnesota. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked. But you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. And he'll find some space up to about the 25. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. When we see those runs to the perimeter, when we see those runs to the edge, we think about big breakers, don't we? In this case, it was a modest game, but it does open up possibilities here on second down. Second down, Cousins. Flush to his right. And some space here. A good decision in the end to pull it and run. Get some nine yards at a first. All right, partner, I'm a defender, but I've got to express my admiration there. Moving around, making it happen, and instead of worrying about protecting himself, right, go. he goes and gets the first down. I've got to give it to him on that one. Normally, you don't want your guy taking shots, your quarterback, but it's winning time here in the fourth quarter. If he needs to make those plays with the legs, go ahead, right? Yeah, no doubt about it. It's, at this stage of the game, all protections, they're off. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. A really good pickup of 28 yards. Cousins now five straight completions here in this second half. First and ten. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll be brought down just outside of the 30. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? Back to the ground. This time, Cook. And he has met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. Well, they don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Third and short yardage. Cousins. That one into the hands of Thielen. Complete. And he'll go down at the 28. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. Time for a break. We're back to see what happens after this. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that is incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Chiefs defense comes up with a stop. And the Chiefs now getting set to go. They have the lead, obviously, late in the game. I guess the good news for them is if for some reason they would make a mistake, a field goal does the opposition no good. Everyone loves to have a little bit of a cushion, and that helps you immeasurably. But the bottom line is, do all the things that you're taught in order to close out the game. Don't even let that become an issue. Yeah, but still a one-possession game. This one not fully over yet. Now they try the right side here. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here. And a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. Now it's first and ten. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Now they'll run it on the toss. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. And now the Vikings are going to stop it here on defense with a timeout. As they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Oh, 
Looking here, Trubisky wants to throw it. And Hill with it over the middle. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. And another timeout called by the Vikings now. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. And they'll go with a ground attack here. And he'll take this one down to the 36. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. As they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. I have to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. take a knee well, they need to get to the 29 if they want to pick up a first here on third down And they'll take a knee as the clock ticks down toward 50 seconds to go. Here's Dustin Colquitt now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. And they won't try and pooch it. It's a fake. And that is incomplete, but there is a flag. And on fourth down, this is a big call. So they decline the penalty. That seems a little <laughs> odd. I'm trying to work through it and work with them to figure out why. Well, someone's got to be confused. I, that's what I think. I'm pretty sure that the bench is saying, take the penalty, and somehow in the heat of the moment, they thought they were saying decline the penalty, and that's going to work against them. They should have taken it. Good starting field position for the Vikings as they have it first and 10. Hey, 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 hey. Yes. Hey, hey. And they will take a knee here. And yet again, this run game just continues to be completely shut off completely stymied. I mean, they're trying to get some consistency, trying to find places to roam. They just haven't been there throughout this game. And partner, this first week, this first game that we get to call together, 
so special every year week one you had the fly over the big american flag out there before the game all the hoopla just having football back so special it is an opening day opening game there's just nothing like it because you really build to a crescendo but the best part for us is that crescendo lasts for a while opening game here an entire season we get into the playoffs to the super bowl I was really excited. I could barely sleep last night. I can't imagine being a player. So for the Chiefs, they start the campaign with a victory in front of an enthusiastic home crowd for a Sunday night. And they will hit the road next week to take on the Detroit Lions. Meanwhile, for the Vikings, they obviously fall to 0-1 with the defeat. And they'll be at home next week for a date with the